Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you how to fix the error code 0x800f0806 in Windows 11 22H2. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to reboot your PC in safe mode. Now to do this press the Windows button then select the settings icon and afterwards make sure that system is selected on the left pane and then on the right side scroll down until you find the recovery category and click on it. Now in the recovery options section make sure to click on restart now next to advanced startup and afterwards you will be taken to the advanced recovery options menu. From here on select troubleshoot and afterwards click on advanced options. Now click on startup settings, from here on just press on 4 to enable safe mode and the computer should reboot in safe mode. This means that rebooting your computer in safe mode can fix the system's issue and then you can restart again in the standard mode and check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to run the Windows Update Troubleshooter. To do this press the windows button then select the settings icon and afterwards make sure again that system is selected on the left pane and then on the right side scroll down until you find the troubleshoot category and click on it. Now in here click on other troubleshooters and now the last thing you have to do is select the run button next to windows update. Now windows will try to detect any issues and fix them as soon as possible. You can then restart your computer and check if the issue still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to repair corrupted system files through SFC and DISM scans. To do this, press the Windows button, then type in CMD and then run command prompt as an administrator. Now, in the command prompt window, make sure to type in the following commands, but press enter after each command. Note that the scans can take a bit of time, so make sure you just relax and don't lose patience. And afterwards, after the problem was detected and fixed, you can restart your computer and check if the issue still persists. Next, another great solution to take in consideration is to restart the Windows Update Service. To do this, press the Windows button, then type in Services and afterwards select Services as an application from the search results. Now, in here, in this list, as you can see, it's quite long. If you want to find this service faster, just make sure to click on a random service, then type the first letter of the service you're looking for. In our case, it's W. Now scroll down until you find the Windows Update Service, double click on it, and the next thing you have to do under the service status, if it's running, make sure to simply stop it. You can also make sure that the startup type is set to automatic and now the last move is to simply restart this service. So click on the start button, then select apply and ok to save the changes and then you can check to see if the issue still persists. And lastly another useful solution is to perform a system restore. To do this press the windows button then type in rstrui and then select it as a run command from the search results. Now in the system restore window make sure to start this process by pressing on the next button then choose the earliest point in time before the problem occurred then click on next and lastly reconfirm by pressing on the finish button. Then you can just wait until the restoration procedure will be finished, restart your computer and once again check if the problem still persists. However, as an alternative, we highly recommend you to try out Restoro, which is an app that specializes in scanning and repairing any issues with your Windows operating system faster than you think. At the same time, Restoro also repairs damage caused by malware, which is a great plus in functionality. So make sure to check out the link in the description below. And that's it. Super simple, isn't it? Of course, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and as usual, subscribe to our channel. Thank you.